Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to not be so nervous in battles. So, um, basically this is inescapable in a way, you know, basically it's, it's pretty normal to be nervous if you're on that stage, there's judges there, there's an audience there, and kind of nervous. But as a beginner, it's uh, especially for the adults or older people, it's kind of, they, they get so nervous, they kind of choke up, right? And I'll give you some tips to get over that uh, uber nervousness, that you're so nervous that actually what you do on the floor is bad. So uh, tip number one is pretty much to be prepared. So what that means is you, be, you basically you can prepare everything you're gonna do, right? You film it, when you practice, you make sure you can really do that well. And then basically um, you can really, really rock that, that run that you practice, do it well, right? It can be anything, try to also sort of do uh, the three main things, right? Like good top rocks, uh, good, uh, you know, footwork and uh, a decent finish or a freeze or maybe something like that and maybe you can even add like power or whatever, right? So that's sort of what you can do, right? You can prepare. Now what I will say is that uh, there's something that will happen and you prepared really, really well, you go on the floor in that battle and for some reason it doesn't work. Now what you can do to fix that is actually make fail safe. So when you sort of uh, prepare and you already have it really, really good, you try to think of, okay, but when I fail, what will I do, right? So then you maybe make a little thing that even if it goes wrong, you can do that other thing. And you practice that over and over and over. Then you know that when you go on the floor, what you will do will actually be decent. If you go on the floor with the vague idea for man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to battle. Let's wait what the music is. Let's wait what the music tells me what kind of moves to do. Uh, that will work for the pros, right? The pros can do that. But uh, like the, you know, the, the beginner b-boy will come off really, really bad when they try that because it will be really messy, right? It might work really well for you, but if you're so nervous, this is what you do, right? So that way, it's a really good way to prepare. And of course, the more you can freestyle and, and, and play with the music, the better. But if that's like a, a thing that blocks you, simply prepare, right? That's the, the first thing I really suggest you do. Okay, uh, suggestion number two is you should uh, do shadow battles. Now, what are shadow battles? Well, it's, it's actually sh like shadow boxing, right? So basically, you just imagine an opponent in your mind and sort of battle. You practice like that. You try to not practice like normal, like you, you're just doing stuff, but you try to practice for the battle like it is a real battle in your head. So that one works. Uh, but even better is when you're in the practice with your friends, try to battle them, right? And when you do this, try to be really nice about it. This is really the best way to go about it. So when I battle, I'm never nice. I'm always sort of on the, on the verge of having beef with people, but, but that's not the way, right? So what you actually want to do is you want to maybe ask them, hey man, can you battle me for two rounds? Or because I want to prepare for a battle, something like that, you can ask them. Or you can just battle them, right? So basically practice it like that and battle them for two rounds and then be really nice. So whatever they do, even if it's like whack or even if it's like amazing, you clap like, wow, that's really nice what you just did. Nice, nice. And then you give them a little fist bump and say, thanks for this little battle, man. This really helps me prepare. So by doing that, you can actually ask everybody in the practice room and, and get a lot of experience this way, right? Basically practicing like this. Now, uh, the another thing is that you should step into a real cipher before you even worry about the battle. Now, what's a cipher? If you didn't know it, it's just a circle of b-boys jamming during uh, a battle or something. There's usually a circle of b-boys, and basically you should jump into there first, and then the next thing you do is actually battle in that cipher first before you worry about battling in front of the judges. Uh, basically, there are no judges there, so there's also no pressure of you losing or winning or being out of the competition and what you need to do yet again is be really really nice about this so what you can actually do is simply uh, someone goes you, you go straight after him like that's uh, what you can do and then look at him after you run and say man come on i just did you move or something then when he goes be really really nice because if you go all hard ass and you get really big big time smoked this will well you know instead of getting confidence you will not gain confidence, right? So just be nice. It doesn't matter what the other person do. It's almost irrelevant. You will just do it like that. And you gain all this experience, right? And then finally, uh, I wish there was another way. You simply have to battle, right? You simply have to do it. It's like 
you cannot swim without going into the water. This is kind of the same. Uh, you can prepare all you want on the on the ground, right? But then sometimes you have to jump into the into the water and do it. And well, it will get better, right? And and even with uh, basically the better you get, the easier it gets, right? But if you're nervous, these are my tips, right? Start small. Don't worry so much about these. Uh, these battles of what the judges even say right and also if you're a beginner don't worry so much about what the opponent do just try to do your best moves first because if you do that you also know hey man I've got some really nice moves and I'll do the first round or the second round something like that what's the point of saving all kinds of moves till the final if you're out the first round right so don't worry about the whole jam just worry about that first two rounds and then you'll see and you do it again and again and again and, and the more you battle basically in practice there 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 and at some point even though you might still be nervous it even becomes fun right and that's what you go for see you next time